welcome fellow bookworms and film fans. Welcome to this week's episode of The Contented Narrative, where I'll be looking at Threadneedle by Carrie Thomas. Now, I don't tend to do hard, I don't tend to buy hardbacks. As you can see, I get, I've got a lot of paperbacks, not that many hardbacks. I bought this one actually at the same time as, as I bought the Susan Hill book. Um, and I didn't realise it was hardback because I, I really should have paid attention. But it arrived and I was like, you know what, it's fine. It, it was the price of a paperback anyway, because it's from Waterstone, so I'm not too bothered. And I was not disappointed. So essentially, um, magic and love, love and magic, they destroy everything in the end. Because it's set in London and it's set in this, this premise that magic exists, but not like the Harry Potter kind of magic, like the sort of like casting of spells and stuff like that. Magic does exist, potions, you know, They've got a magical library, which, oh, I'd love to go to the magical library by the sounds of it. You go there, you tell them what you want to have a look at, and the library will give you what they think you need. Love it. Um, and it's about this this girl who's been raised by her aunt because her parents um, killed each other due to magic, and magic and love don't mix. They destroy everything. So she's been raised by her aunt to become a binder. And a binder is where she goes through, like, this complicated ceremony where her magic is bound and she's then no longer able to cast spells at all. But then her, her like a friend of hers comes um, and starts sort of like releasing this, this potential in her and she starts to realise that there's a good side to it. And it just goes from there. My God. Like, honestly, so I read this when I was actually in Life in St Anne's with my university friends. And I felt really antisocial because at one point they were like playing games and like having like drinking and stuff. And I was literally just sat in a corner just reading this book and I just couldn't put it down. Um, so wreck it be guys. I'm really, really sorry. Um, I promise I wasn't being antisocial. It's just when you get a good book, you cannot put it down. And this book was so good. Like again, it wasn't a five out of five star. Um, it was probably a, a four out of five. And I think it's one of a series as well. So I think there's going to be more in it. But... As I've said plenty of times when I've read books in series, it doesn't need to be read in a series. So if there isn't another book, I'm not going to be disappointed. It has concluded what it needed to conclude in that story, but it's left little bits open and I can see how it can continue. Um, and I would be eager to get the next book in it, but obviously you know how it's like when you release a book in, in hardback, it then gets released on paperback and then uh, like a year or so later, you'll get the next book if the author's written it. But I mean, it's it's just such a lovely coming of age story of, of young girls as well that are like coming into their magic, um, forming friendships, testing their boundaries, seeing what they can and can't do. And honestly, just from, from the very first moment I, I opened it and I didn't see the end coming. And when it ended as it ended, I was like, oh, that's good. That is so good. Um, and it's not like a huge twist. It's not, you know, anything like that. But when you learn what happens, when you when you learn what happens with the characters and see how they develop and see how they interact with each other, it genuinely you just sat there going, "Wow, that's so good." And it le and it does leave you wanting to know more about the characters. But if there's no more about the characters, you won't be as disappointed. I would a hundred percent recommend this book to anyone. It is. I, I don't like sort of like doing the gender boys book, girls book. It is m probably more, I mean, it's got magic in it and everything like that. It, it's seen from a from a teenage girl's perspective. I would say it's more of like a, a teenage fiction rather than like adult. But as I said, as I said in previous ones, sometimes teenage fiction um, and young adult books are a lot better than adult books because it doesn't have... The, you know the unnecessary intimacy as it as it were the adult books feel like they need to they need to do um and i would recommend this book to anyone honestly if anyone even wants to just borrow it from me because obviously you know i won't be rereading it anytime soon but i will reread it and i'm likely to get the second um the second book in the series um but if anyone wants to borrow it from me if anyone wants to borrow any of the books that i've recommended you're more than welcome um, but honestly, I do recommend it. It gets a four out of five from me. It's a, it's a, it's a brilliant book. Um, now, if you agree or disagree with anything that I say, if you read this book and you do enjoy it, please do leave it below in the comments. Don't forget to click subscribe so you're alerted whenever a new video becomes available. 
Thank you so much for your continued support. If there's any adaptations you'd like me to do, please, please leave it below in the comments. I'm always finding out new books that I want to read. I'm always finding new books, film adaptations that I want to do. So, you know, I've got loads that I've got anyway, so I don't necessarily need recommendations, but I'm always happy to do something that, that you guys like and that you guys read and that you guys enjoy and that you want to import onto me. But thank you so much. Um, and just remember to always keep it contento.